Welcome back. Now, Sandarya Rajnikanth's Okka studio today has issued a statement clarifying the news item that was carried in all English dailies yesterday of a check bounce case for which her mother, Lata Rajnikanth, appeared in court. Now, the management has uh, come out uh, quite sharply saying, and I quote, the news item is libellous and uh, slanderous with intent to malign the reputation of the organization. The said news item is pursued defamatory and has deeply disturbed the management of Orca Studios. Now, the past employees of Orca Studios have uh, misrepresented the organization and have collected huge sums of money from public as advances and loans. The management is in no way responsible for the acts of omission and commission committed by its past employees and the liability cannot be fastened on Orca Studios." Unquote. Well, here's one question. What is more important, school exams or government functions? Well, a government school in uh, Velachery decided to opt for the latter and postpone their school exams in the evening and for some students even the next day. And the school was uh, chosen as a centre to distribute uh, free TV sets in the area. And ahead of the function, the school management decided to conduct uh, all their exams later. While the students say that the government functions causes a lot of distractions, local DMK leaders say that postponing the distribution of TV sets would only have caused a lot more resentment amongst the people. School in a Sultana, steady all day, other than the 10th, 10th go, 12th go, in a camp, may wake up. Aguna Sultana, Varigindra Patul in the other, the Indiki Katanga, Pano and the Lendur camp, Yuru in all wake up running here. In the Atlapo Turking or Maidan Kaled, in the Atlapo Maidan Mo, where in the Democrat, our camp exam were camp wake up wrong, Vikir Tandana were now will parish it around, other Patan de Taro, and the time running with Ching and Solanga, Adagada or Osmogro, Ilana. Well, is the pressure to perform mounting or is the disciplining being confused with insensitivity? Now, with increasing pressure on students, there has been an alarming spike in the number of suicides that have been reported. And in the latest incident, an 8th standard student who was uh, scolded by her teacher for copying during an exam at a government school in Pulyanthorpe committed suicide at her house on Wednesday. Now, allegedly, 13-year-old uh, Tenmuri was made to kneel down in front of her class. Tenmuri then returned home and hanged herself from the ceiling fan at her residence the next day. Now, the relatives, however, have been crying foul. They staged a protest in front of the corporation school this morning. The girl's body has been handed over back to the uh, parents after the autopsy. <laughs> Well, this is what the commissioner had to say about the alleged role of the teacher in this one case. This incident uh, exposes uh, certain, uh, what to say, realities. So I feel lecturers should be a little more sensitive in handling. I'm not saying that all of them are insensitive. Most of them are very sensitive. I know it's a very tough job handling the younger generation. But here and there, I think there could be a little, it needs a little more sensitive handling. And I think uh, this is nothing new. I think these things keep happening from time to time, such incidents. So I think these incidents should be an eye-opener and a lesson to the teaching staff in general, that they need to be a little more sensitive in the future. Coming back to the city, Chennai is on the fast track as far as industrialization is concerned. Now here is one more company joining the bandwagon. Apollo Tires is the latest to foray into Chennai with a multi-crore tire manufacturing facility. Now, speaking at the inauguration, Stalin described Chennai as a global automotive hub. Terming Chennai as the most preferred destination for auto majors, Stalin also announced that there are several mega-budget projects in the pipeline. Now, one such is a state-of-the-art automobile facility called Anatri with investment of nearly 500 crore rupees. The facility will be a state-of-the-art R&D centre at par with global standards. Chennai is emerging as a leader not only in automobile and component manufacturing, Tamil Nadu as a well diversified economy with strong tradition in manufacturing. The proactive policies of the government 
infrastructure facilities and availability of skilled manpower have all contributed towards making Tamil Nadu the most preferred investment destination in the country today. The automobile industry in Tamil Nadu is now climbing up in value chain. Chennai is emerging as a leader, not only in automobile and component manufacturing, but also in vehicle design and related research and development. In some national news now, the government has ordered a probe into the ISRO's controversial deal selling a spectrum for a pittance to a foreign firm. But it seems the members of the panel have a conflict of interest. Pro-panel member BK Chaturvedi was in fact the former cabinet secretary and therefore part of the decision-making on the controversial deal in 2005. Another member, Rodam Narsima, has been a member of the Space Commission for a long time. This was the body that looked at the controversial spectrum deal with Devas. But government sources had a curious explanation. They, they claimed uh, that while they do understand that there is a conflict of interest, they were hard-pressed to pick experts for the job as very few people understand the subject. In more national news now, a court in Chhattisgarh has uh, rejected the bail application of Dr. Binayak Sen. He was uh, sentenced to life in prison in December after he was convicted of sedition on the basis of his alleged links to Naxals in the area. Now, Binayak Sen's wife expressed her disappointment and said that they will fight it out and will file a petition in the Supreme Court. The verdict has outraged civil liberty activists both inside the country and overseas. Here's one shocking incident from Bihar. A drunk CRPF Jawan shot dead a national-level female Kabaddi player after she refused to share her mobile number. Now, 21-year-old Manisha, who played for Railways, was on her way back home from stadium after practice when CRPF Jawan just once Singh chased her and there was an argument as she refused to share her mobile number. The CRPF Jawan then shot her several times using an AK-47 before shooting himself as well. Now, while the young girl died on the spot, the CRPF Jawan is in hospital in critical condition. A murder case has been lodged against the Jawan. And some business action. Let's have a look at uh, how the prices of precious metals, gold and silver, are doing today. From a daring attempt at playing on the IC814 hijacking incident to Jason Statham starring again in yet another action thriller, you can catch all the action tomorrow at the big screen. We get you a sneak preview on the other side. Keep watching.